Hello everyone and welcome back to the Selfish Stream. As you can see we're on our uh, lovely System 755 desktop over here. As you can see we're on our uh, lovely System 755. I am echoing. Okay. Don't know why I did that, but alright, we're good. Um, so, uh, last time we played a bunch of Simp Tower. We got up to a three star tower and well on our way to our fourth star. Uh, we also were thinking of doing perhaps uh, a little bit of Dino Park Tycoon, Escape Velocity Override, Museum Madness, uh, Odell Down Under, Cythera, or Ares today. Um, so I think we're going to start with Dino Park Tycoon since I already got a park that is pretty much finished and we can look at that for a bit. We're not going to do a lot with this because there is honestly not a lot to do. So, basically, the reason that we're not going to mess with this too terribly much, uh, unless there's a specific request for it, uh, is that it's pretty well already done. <laughs> um, when originally playing through this, um, I've pretty much got everything to the point where the park is self-sustaining, um, given some interaction, which I've long since forgotten how to do. Um, and it will just make money as long as I make sure that everything, like the dinosaurs are fed. Um, want an Iggy? Yeah. It's, a, it's an odd sort of a game. Um, it's basically just about how to do um, supply management and like it's it's baby's first creative management game basically, uh, and I like that about it. Um, it's uh, it's it's good. Uh, let's see. There is one thing that I wasn't that I never actually bothered with. That's purchasing a Vegasaurus, which is this guy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and buy him, because we actually have the money just sitting around. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Extinct. Wow. <laughs> I admit it, I didn't expect that. I assumed there was some kind of Easter egg sort of a thing, but no, it's dead. It's it's actually dead. <laughs> well, we just destroyed a species, so that's cool. Uh, let's see. Just gonna let the music play there for just a second. It's pretty well, like, other than making sure that there's sufficient food, um... Which is... I mean, that's nothing too impressive or interesting. Um, one, one thing about this game that I think is a little bit peculiar, um, is that it pretty much all runs in real time. So even when you're doing stuff in the menus, it's still all live. Like, your dinosaurs are still doing stuff, you're still losing food, you're still losing money or gaining money or whatever. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting because um, you would expect that, like, menuing here, you know, reading through all this stuff and they'd give you some kind of... Uh, some kind of um, bonus or benefit for it, but it doesn't. It just... I don't know, it just kind of doesn't. <laughs> Ooh, 
10 employees just quit. <laughs> Yay. Dinosaurs are gone. Yay, let's run everything into the ground. Um, yeah, we, we did a bunch of stuff that we didn't need to, and it's just completely destroying the, the part. But that's fine. Um, <laughs> so we're not actually going to be playing this for more than a couple seconds here. <laughs> Yay. Um, so, um, at this point... I think I'm gonna mess around with something that I haven't done a ton of, and that is Odil Down Under. Let's quit other programs that are in the programs open. Uh, management. What is management? It's the settings. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me look this up. It's pretty bad. It's pretty, pretty bad. This is surely something. to find somebody who has the manual for this. <laughs> I didn't even realize this was a thing. Uh, yeah, so I guess we're not doing that. Cancel. <laughs> so we're just gonna play. So here's our instructions. We use the mouse to move around, click stuff to eat it. Um, if you stop in front of a cave or behind a plant, um, predators and prey will both ignore you. <laughs> um, you've got the special abilities, hit spacebar, and clean yourself by moving next to cleaning fish. Basically, guess and check as far as what you can eat. That's fine. All right, let's try challenge. Let's play as the Moorish Idol. Okay, so it gets food from coral. Shit. Okay. All right. What's that noise? Can I eat snails? No. Uh, can I eat worms? No. What can I eat then? Uh, until somebody says what they want to do. Uh, because there's a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Sorry. There's a bunch of stuff we can do. Plant, you hate plants. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright. We'll, we'll uh, give up on Odell for now. So, what we were thinking of yesterday is we were going to play either more Sim Tower, uh, which has a lot of ambient noise stuff. We were going to do Escape Velocity Override, Ares, or Cythera. Um, Escape Velocity Override and Ares are both spaceship games. Um, Escape Velocity Override is a lot like the Z of the uh, Legends of a Drift system. Um, but not exactly. Um, and uh, Ares is like you build bases and control wingmen and stuff like that. Um, Cythera is a game that's a little bit like Ultima, it's a little bit like uh, Exile. Um, it's like a top down grid based strategy fantasy RPG. Um, I have no idea how to play it, um, but I am led to understand that it's actually pretty good. All right, so there it is, until somebody tells me that they want to do something else. <laughs> I don't want to go, yeah, no, always. 
There is nowhere better to learn. Now it may have just crashed. That's possible. Uh, yeah, it's crashed. Okay, hold on a second. Let's uh, let's fix that and try again. Gracious, what just happened? <laughs> okay. Did the desktop window manager just die on me? What the heck? No? That's fine. So why is it being how it is? Okay. Ah, no, you know what happened? This arrow died on me. Unfortunately, all that we really need is my stream monitor. Oh no. What now? Uh, <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you were right, it was relevant. So, uh, fun, fun little thing here. Um, what crashed just then was Windows Explorer. So I'm going to restart that, and it may do some stuff in the background. I don't know. Hopefully, it will at the very least actually let me keep streaming. Basilisk, where are you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, well, that was insane. Alright, so there, let's try again. Let's try that again. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Tell the stream of the Yeah, so it's, um... That is a panel from a comic where the punchline is always, oh no. Um, I don't actually know what the comic is called, but I've seen it around and it's amazing. Um, the gist is something bad but also obvious happens and then a character says, oh no. All right, maybe, maybe. Called webcomic name, okay. Whoa. <laughs> what the heck is that noise? What is happening right now? Got that nice little doo 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 doo. But it's very, very soft, and then there's that horrible clicking and popping. I don't. I think it's supposed to make that sound. <laughs> what in blazes is happening right now? I don't... Well, that depends on what you mean by this. Try that again. Maybe. Oh my gosh! Why is it so hard to emulate old games? This should not be this difficult. It's super old. There's nothing demanding about it. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Why? Why is it trying so hard to be a dubstep remix or whatever the frick you'd call this? Okay, if we can't get it to stop doing that, we'll probably need to turn the music off, but holy crap. Who are we gonna play as? So we got these three guys. Or Wow, these are weird portraits. These are weird looking. Um and then we got a few classes over here. A storyteller. Huh. I've actually never seen a storyteller as the, the the talk to people class. What is going on with the sound? And then every now and then it's just fine. What the heck? <laughs> this is so weird. sounds pretty much fine, except the occasional click. Nope, there it is again. Okay, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try playing a Berserker, because I like not having to think about my combat decisions. We're gonna be this Monty Python looking dude. <laughs> Slow fade to black. Alright. It was another hot summer evening where the humidity was high enough to make sleep all but impossible. The ceiling fan in the bedroom isn't enough to overcome the stickiness. Off in the distance, the dull crash of thunder. A chance of scattered storms, the forecast had said. Okay. Restful sleep just wasn't going to come this night, and it wasn't just the weather. Dreams, dark and disturbing, linger in the back of the mind, almost forgotten, but not quite. Their unquiet spirits fight to come to the surface, but cannot break the barrier of consciousness. Dark forms, dead things with an unnatural glow, a sense of loss of control and madness. Corruption and ancient powers alien to mankind, things that seem normal on the surface, but are wrong. So very wrong underneath. Rising, seeking solace in television, but nothing is found there but inane infomercials selling some snake oil or pyramid scheme designed to steal the dreams and money of the weak. A glass of water, perhaps, can chase away the troubles in the back of the mind. Walking as if still asleep outside to the patio, the desire for air perhaps less stagnant. A breeze is heard in the distance, stirring the leaves of a mighty oak, but no release from the weather is felt. The storm approaches from the west, with a tingle of ozone being added to the atmosphere and an unnatural greenish glow seen in the clouds. That glow is somehow familiar and disturbing. To the east, it is still clear and stars can be seen, the only thing that seems to provide any comfort. There, low and near the horizon, Mars, the ancient god of war. It is then that blackness comes, but not the blackness of the night, not just the absence of light. Instead, the blackness of a void, the absence of all. All sight, all sound, all feeling, all sense of time and space. <laughs> it disturbs me. Uh, it comes in an instant and lasts for an eternity before slowly fading. It is good our savior stirs, says a hunchbacked fool, dressed in motley. He turns to his companion, a taller, distinguished older man whose face is both timeless and yet bears the toil, the toll of an unknown number of years. Yes, Magpie, it is good. I hope you are right. I am severely weakened. To have cast so far across so much for this one, I just don't know. Trust Magpie, you must. Has the Council of Magpie ever been wrong? The choice was a good one, the risk worth the reward. This was your last best chance for regaining your power and saving the land from being destroyed. Much rests on the shoulders of this young one, but the choice was good. Welcome to Delver, Delver version 103. Enjoy your stay. Talk to the king. Okay. The King and Bellerophon. Before you stands an older, dignified gentleman but with a look of desperation. Ah, good, you're about. We were worried that you were harmed. I suppose I should explain what happened. My name is Alaric, and you are now in the land of Cythera. You were summoned in a final, desperate attempt to save Cythera and its ruler from chaos and madness. I am that ruler, and I have a special bond with the land of 
Why is Bond highlighted? With the land and the people of Cythera, for over 200 years I have used my magic to keep it prosperous. Unfortunately, over the past couple of years, my power has waned, and with it, Cythera has started slipping into chaos. It is as if that bond were dissolving, the land somehow changing. I do not understand it. The more impotent I become, the more frustrating it is to see it all slipping away like waking from a dream. I should feel special? Why? I have trusted the fates to summon an outsider from Master Thea herself, but for only an outsider will be able to see through this cloud that blocks my vision. You, of course, are that outsider. Do not think that I did this on a whim. It has cost me most of my remaining power to do so. Oh, gosh. I trust you to help me. I am sorry for the danger this costs you, but you are my and Sathera's last chance. Train, help, matter, bond. Sathera, where is job name? Bye. So we got his name, but we already had it. You're moving your third monitor. Well, I, I feel I feel honored. Uh, let's see, train, train. What part of your basic identity? So I am to do cure Alaric. Okay, journal. Man, this music emulation has got some problems. Um, reflex, sure. Help. Sorry, I can't help you until you register this software! <laughs> Real subtle, guys. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. Master Thea, Earth, Ma Mater Thea, Earth Mother, at least before the journey brought us here. Now we are bef without Mater Thea, but there are stories. <laughs> Shakira, Shakira. Bond. I am or was at one with the land and its people. I have provided all the basic needs of its people, a bountiful land, mild weather, and peace for its people. But now it all seems to be slipping away, a void where I can neither see nor affect. Yes, there is the land. Brilliant. Stories tell of a power formed of Earth which still walks the land, uh, whom we call mythics. Mythics? However, I doubt that they still live, or I shouldn't have been able to detect their presence. Journey. You, uh, we are not from this place, but from the same earth that you are. We lived on an island called Thera until... An oh boy. <laughs> Anesiodone reclaimed it. But that was not without warning, for a stranger in the form of the Holy Bull appeared, telling us to flee. We saw Thera destroyed from the safety of our ships at sea. That night a storm such as has never been before tossed us about until in the morning when we woke up tossed aside at the beach near what would become the city of Cademia. Or so goes the legend. I am not a historian. Perhaps you should ask another historian. My history, I remember a few parts, living with my mother as a child in Catamarca. When she died, I left Catamarca to Rome. How I survived, I don't know. I think I was seeking out the exiled mages, for I felt I had powers beyond those of normals and would learn of them. Instead of finding them, I wandered into a cave, but it was not a cave. I crossed a bridge of stars and found an abandoned hall or temple of some sort. Who built this place I knew not. It was empty and abandoned, but great power called to me. Luna is saying, snurt, snurt in response to you. And it's actually really cute. I believe it. Oh yes, the stream does still say I'm playing some tower. Thank you for catching that. I'm not sure if it'll even have Sathera in here, but let's try... Ah, um, we can play some tower if that's what people want to do. It, it has fewer audio problems than Sathera at the very least. Um, yeah, it's more of a general old Mac games uh, stream. Okay, so let's see if I can save this. I don't actually know. Bye. Okay, take this amulet, blah blah blah. Yeah, we can do some tower. Okay, cool. Can I... can I... Okay, we may have to just... Literally can't quit, okay. Oh, my good grief. 
game, please. Let let me have a menu, please. I just I just want a menu, please. Okay, frick, there we go. Alright, Sim Tower. <laughs> going to be playing Elevated Heights, starting from where we left it last time. So if I'm not mistaken, what we've done most recently was we'd set up our second, our first Sky Lobby floor. Uh, we managed to get all the way up to our first uh, Express Elevator, um, and I was reminded that elevators can have more than one car in them, which Thank heavens for that. And we're actually going to be putting in a few more of these. So right now we're going for star number four. That needs 5,000 population, and we need a VIP to rate us. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's give a quick check of our evaluation once I get this better spot. Uh, yeah, looks like we're mostly doing pretty good. Um, these restaurants... Okay, people don't like these, but I'm not sure why. Okay, they don't like the past the fact that fast food is nearby. Yeah, we should probably ditch these restaurants and replace them with offices, actually. A VIP! Uh, last time, one of the things that occurred was we discovered the existence of terrorist attacks in this game, because I didn't know that that was a thing that could happen. Another thing that happened last time was we complained vigorously, and by we I mean I, uh, about the fact that this does not give you any information about what the heck is going on. Um, like literally any. Yeah, yeah, you can have terrorist attacks, that's what the security offices are for, they sweep the building when, uh, when there are bomb threats. And if you have enough of them then you continue on, and if you don't have enough of them, then I'm not sure what happens, because I had already built security and managed to, uh, to sneak away unscathed. It was a bit of an adventure. <laughs> ticket sales. There's also a party. A party is happening. Yay. Um, I'm pretty sure we need more parking, um, but I don't know right offhand how much we need or how it's going to be best to set that up. Good. Okay. I got the usual disaster on all the office floors up here. few customers. And these ones, no indication of why they're so bad. You know, I got to four star. It's um, it's not that hard to reach four star. Honestly, the, the difficulty that I've found in this game is getting from four star to five star and from five star to towers, because you have to have everything so dense. Um, and it's really hard to, to like increase population density beyond a certain point. 
Um, at some point, you just fill up the map, and then like that's it. You're you're out of room. Um, so actually, to that end, I'm just gonna fill out the rest of the lobby real quick. So yeah, our lobby now extends all the way across. Um, I have actually gotten a full tower rating. Um, it takes a long time um, of not doing a whole time. <laughs> Um, so last time we were actually discussing this, uh, th the big issue that I've personally seen um, with this game is that beyond a certain point, which you reach pretty pretty early on, there's nothing to do but just expand, like just have more of the same. Uh, let's see, how many floors of this do we want to do? Probably just the first. Yep, Sim Tower. Welcome, welcome. Um, good to have some new faces around. Welcome to the stream. Uh, let's see what we're we doing. We're doing restaurants. And we are also going to do some shops up here. We're going to kind of have a... Um, commercial area. Yeah, yeah, I think that's very accurate. Finding a pattern that works is a very good way of explaining explaining how this game functions. Cuz really once you kind of once you kind of work out what the game wants from you, then it gets really easy. Not enough money for construction. Oh boy. Um Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right now we're we're not even close to really needing to worry about optimal play. Different game by game. No, not not that I've found. Um, like you'll have different problems depending on what what you overlook, basically. Um, so like if you know at the moment we're just basically just starting out. There's not that much going on. Um, and what we're experiencing is that there's a lot of. Yeah, yeah, like, so there's a lot of different things you can do, like, different approaches you can take. Um, but, like, ultimately, you're, you're always going to be doing basically the same things, right? So, like, you know, at, at some point, it's always going to come down to, you know, bulldoze anything that doesn't have enough people capacity in a certain area. Um, and replace it with something that does, you know, just just fill in. Um, and the vast majority of the actual gameplay is just, you know, put down whatever there's room for, like make more stuff. Uh, yeah, we actually poked at Dino Park Tycoon a little bit earlier. Didn't play much, of course, but um, I just wanted to, uh, to kind of show off a park that I would basically completed. Um, not in the sense that like everything that you could possibly have was there, but just that uh, it was self-sufficient and kind of done as far as I was concerned. Um, so yeah, yeah, no, we've we've got a pretty decent selection. Um, and I actually have quite a lot more um, old games, but they a lot of them just kind of don't want to work. Oh dear. <laughs> That's not right at all. So right now we're just putting in some more parking um, because at the moment our office spaces are not adequately served by these. Um, so something that we, uh, of course, like a lot of this conversation already happened yesterday. So for for anyone who was here for that, there's going to be some repeat. Um, but what we, one of the things that we discussed was um, the fact that uh, this game is ultimately really shallow. Like I like it, but it's very very shallow. Um, I'm using Basilisk actually, um, which is. Unstable as all crap, <laughs> but it does get the job done. So, 
so it's, you know, it's functional. Sometimes only barely, but it, it works. Um, I've actually got, literally just right next to me, a, uh, like a little CD sleeve book filled with games that theoretically should work on this. Uh, Dinopark Tycoon, SimTower, SimCity, and RollerCoaster Tycoon, no. Um, there is actually not very much overlap between those at all. Um, so Dino Park Tycoon and Museum Madness are both by MEC, uh, M-E-C-C. Uh, SimTower and SimCity, so SimTower is a, a bit of an odd case. I actually just found this out yesterday um, when, we were, when we were getting started. It's by somebody named Yute Saito. Um, you know, I never really had that experience. I, I like, our performa when I was growing up was fine. I mean, it was it was never fast or particularly like impressive in terms of its performance, but it never really had like crash issues unless I did something to it, which did happen a couple times. Um, but that's not its fault. Um, well, can't I have it going off the edge of the tower? Oh, hey, look, it's Santa. Um, sorry, there's a bunch of different threads of conversation I'm trying to follow all at once here. Um, so, basically, uh, yeah, so Sim Tower was by a Japanese developer for a Japanese market. It had no major, uh, major Western release until Maxis published it. Um, as part of the Sim franchise, uh, which was, of course, Will Wright's baby, um, Sim City, and all that. Uh, so they had um, Sim Tower, Sim City, Sim Ant, Sim Farm, Sim Earth, Sim Life. Um, yeah, no, that's that's true. It, it certainly had its flaws. I'm not saying it didn't, but uh, my my experience is not quite so dire as what you're describing. <laughs> Um, and that could just be because I was a clueless child. You never know. Uh, <laughs> when I say I was doing stuff to it, I mean like the time that I deleted the entire applications folder thinking that it was an alias. Or because I didn't understand what an alias was. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> uh, Yute Saito did? Really? Huh, I, I should look into that. That actually sounds really cool. Um, Simant, Simant is on my short list of, of uh, games to get installed on this VM, um, because that's, that's, that's an obvious one. <laughs> it's the, you know, the, the Maxis classics. Um, we have a lot of games from, uh, from Ambrosia on here, of course, most, mostly Ambrosia games. Um, some of those work better than others. Um, under Basilisk, which, you know, no great shock there or anything, but it is unfortunate that they're a little bit fiddly at times. Uh, regardless, um, to finish answering uh, Melody SRV's question, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon is by um, Chris Sawyer uh, and published through, I believe, Microprose, the first one. Um, and then Atari bought them and yeah, just nah. It's kind of a mess now, but oh wow, a CD reinstall. That's fun. That's how you know you did it wrong. <laughs> no, no, start from scratch. <laughs> You're not allowed to op operate this. <laughs> um, so yeah, a whole bunch of different people doing a whole bunch of different things, and because it was the '90s and it was what was popular. Um, they all sort of came out looking very similar to one another in some ways. Uh, like, this graphical style was really popular, um, uh, particularly the, the SimCity isometric, SimCity 2000 isometric video. And that was, that was very, very popular at the time. Um, as well it should be, it looks absolutely beautiful. But yeah, it's um Oops, wrong wrong click. Um it's it's 
a very distinct aesthetic because a lot of these games were all trying to capitalize on the same market trends at roughly the same time. Uh, let's see, floor six is where the accelerator belongs. So we'll put that down there. That should hopefully get this to not be super congested all the time. There's a limit of, uh, I believe it's 26 elevator shafts. Um, so we'll need to be careful about where we place all of those. So, all right, yeah, so that's, that's all the offices filling up. Um, right now, we're just trying to basically fill space. Uh, VIP has made reservations. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh no. And uh, our our mantra in this game has, of course, been uh, restless Geneva this whole time. Okay, why don't why aren't you happy? Conditions are terrible. In what way are conditions terrible? That's one of the things that really kind of frustrates me about this game is that there is no indication of what the problem is a lot of the time. Um, so you know you'll, you'll have problems. Um, oh, can I, can I, please, <laughs> can I see the, the room behind all of you people? Um, you can often see that there are issues and kind of intuit what some of them are, but usually it doesn't provide any any meaningful information. So conditions are terrible. Conditions are still terrible. Conditions are fine. You know, that, that kind of thing. It just doesn't really doesn't really tell you what the problem is. So far, what I've experienced is that it comes down to elevator management. Um, so basically, if the elevators aren't right, then you'll never be able to make any of these happy except at the lowest possible price point. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's the gist of what I was saying. Is basically, if the if the elevator wait times are too long, if the elevators are in some way not set up the way that the, the any, any particular floor likes them, then everything will just fall apart. Um, and I'm not really sure what to do about that beyond just the basic add more elevators, because as far as I can tell, everything seems pretty well covered. You know, we've got a we've got an elevator that has you know, it starts on floor six, goes right up there. Uh, picking up office workers on the way up. Yeah, so I, I was looking at the settings here um, for like the time of day changes, and I do not understand um, what settings would actually make sense for this. Um, I did check on the floor departure times, and then I fixed that for all of the other ones, but I didn't fix that for the new elevator. Um, we were supposed to be changed as well. Maybe that's part of the problem. Uh, yeah, 30 seconds. So wait, you're saying that it's picking up office workers on the office floors when they're head when the elevator is already moving up, and then they have to wait to get off when it moves down. Is, am I correctly understanding what you're describing? Yeah, yeah. So the uh, the reason that they won't take stairs more than three floors is because they'll only take two methods of transportation and each stairwell uh, is one of those methods. Um, the presence of those stairwells is mostly just, I'm gonna stick these down because I should do that. A VIP has arrived at your tower. Oh no. <laughs> cool story. <laughs> I wonder if we can track the VIP. VIP, ah, you can. No stress, he's not traveling. Very important uh, pretzel. <laughs> oh. VI principle, there we go. Close enough. Hotel suite, floor 20. Okay. 
So when he leaves, we'll get a rating, um, and that will determine whether we are capable of moving up to four stars at all until we fix whatever problems he finds. Yeah, I love Sosumi. Sosumi's a wonderful sound. It's just a delight. It's very pleasing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's familiar. They had a comfortable stay. Yay! So we got a positive VIP rating, which is good. That's what we want. I feel like I understand long vertical elevator shafts better than... Uh, or, like, like tall narrow towers better than better than short wide ones <laughs> so explain to me what you had in mind when you were describing elevator behavior earlier uh no i don't know that story do tell for my crappy chat overlay. I keep trying to fix that, but there's some some kind of issue with the transparency so it doesn't show up properly. I was just noticing that, that went back to being <laughs> basically itself. So these should be expressed mm, so what is this? 7 p.m. express to bottom express to bottom What am I even changing? This is the one specific to offices. That was a bit local. 30 floors between sky lobbies with four shafts. Yeah, I'm I'm sure there's some specific optimization uh, that you can do with it, but I don't care. <laughs> Mostly I just want to stop manually messing around with the, um, the prices <laughs> for office space. <laughs> because I don't like doing that. Yeah, like, I, I don't really care either way about game balance. <laughs> like, it, it, it's fine, either way. Mostly it's just, like, I, I want to understand the mechanics well enough that I can make decisions about it. Because right now I, I can't at all. <laughs> So, also, this is a mystery to me. What, what on earth is the simulate button for? When Apple settled with Apple Music, the Beatles company, Apple's, Apple agreed they would never go into the music business, of course, decades ahead of iTunes, right? I mean, I, I think I see where this is going. <laughs> Operating system. Wait, really? That's based on. That's based on the something from the Beatles. How on earth does that work? I, <laughs> I, I'm genuinely like baffled by that. I, I do not understand what that has to do with the Beatles. I mean, I guess it could be a case like all of those sound bites in Earthbound, but I feel like I would have heard about it if that were the case. Too close to us. Really? Just, just that little... That is a weird thing to be concerned about. Copyright law is crazy, man.
So I've changed the behavior of the elevator that only services the office floors. Hopefully that'll alleviate some of the issues that we're seeing, but I honestly kind of doubt it. set to simulate it just oh these have settings <laughs> yeah yeah no it's it, it it could it could be stand to be a bit better um oh my gosh <laughs> this actually has separate settings for every time of day for the floor departures Oh, really, you think? I mean, I guess it makes sense. But, like, in that case, where would you want it to be? It seems like you'd want it to be an express elevator. In that case. But, no, I, I guess not, because they prefer not to use express elevators, don't they? Hmm. So, one thing that playing, that coming back to Sim Tower has, has kind of put in my head is the idea of streaming um, Project High Rise, which I have played enough of to understand that I love it, but not enough to understand how to play it. Because uh, <laughs> it's it's literally this, but way better. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the express elevator hits basement floors and every floor, uh, every 15th floor, every lobby floor. I mean, I could demonstrate it right now if we wanted to build down to the bottom but I don't think there's any point to doing that right now. That is a lot of trash. Uh, do we need another recycling center? Is that what that means? Full of garbage. Okay. Um, let's, let's chuck another recycling center over here. Floors first, don't we? And that is not how you do that. Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, you can do this weird, like, every other floor, subterranean floor thing. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, stop with that game. Please. I guess we'll just be in space then. Oh my gosh, please. These scroll bars are killing me. Okay, there we go. Now I won't have to think about that later. Do we not have the money? Why doesn't this work? Does it have to have road access? Is that what it is? I mean, it would make sense if it had to have road access. This is fine, I guess? Alright, sure. <clears throat> I guess we'll just have all of the basement floors and leave them mostly empty? That'll be fine, right? down to basement 8 now. We have a crap load of recycling. That's fine. Um, let's also expand the parking structure um, just so that we have more of that. Whoa! During construction, workers discovered ancient buried treasure. It is worth $500,000. Yay! I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> Makes no sense that it would be there, but sure. So, 
I do know that we have significantly less parking than we're supposed to. Uh, there's a lot of people waiting. <laughs> My goodness. Alright, so I don't think that's going to make too much difference to how the elevators operate, really. Having all of that, because uh, it should only come into play once we have enough office and retail space uh, to interact with it. So I think we can just kind of leave that how it is and, and mostly ignore it. Um, right. Uh, let's see. There is some rule that, that dictates how you should place hospitals or, uh, or health services, um, but I don't understand what it is, so I'm going to ignore it for now. Um, we do probably want another cinema down here someplace. We'll put that over on the right. Um, because that is where that sort of thing is going to live. We actually have a total of three. The Northwest Romance. Latest movies. Love in New York. Oh no. <laughs> Are we ten floors? No, it's, um, there's, uh... My man of war. Uh, there is uh, a rule based on like proximity to the lobbies, um, and it's supposed to demand a certain number, uh, which will then tell you that the, the people in the tower are demanding it, but it has not actually told me that. So, uh, so we may or may not ever really know the answer to that question, <laughs> um, depending on whether it wants to play nice. So right now we're, we're basically experimenting with just this one elevator that serves the office floors um, to see if the behaviors that it displays are better now or if they were better before I customized everything. And to be perfectly honest, I really don't know. Uh, you know what it makes sense to do is put an additional, uh, an additional elevator car on the bottom floor of at least a couple of these. That makes um, that makes sense to me. Because that's where most of the traffic's gonna be pretty much no matter what. Right? Uh, okay. Restless Geneva. <laughs> yeah, well, so I set it by, um, it's this guy right here. I set it by time of day during weekdays. So in the mornings it should be taking people up exclusively, and in the evenings it should be taking people down exclusively. Um, and it should be basically filling up 30 seconds, which I think is plenty of time. A fire has been reported on floor five. Well, yes. Fire was stopped because your building has emergency stairs. No one was injured, but the tower was damaged. I know. <laughs> Burned area. Okay, well, let's break that apart and put down some new condos. <laughs> the fact that it has an I know button is just delightful. There's, there's a lot of, um... What was it? Was it, uh... I think it was a peer in that we were trying to play, and it has an aw shucks error, uh, error message. Like you're actually required to push an aw shucks button in order to proceed. Which is, like, the best thing. <laughs> Sick burn area, dude. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna feel dumb all night now that I've said that out loud. Hmm. Okay. So let's bomb out all of this business up here and change around the placement because that's gonna be inefficient if we don't change it. Thud, thud, boom, boom. Again, with getting the spacing wrong. It's interesting that some structures will auto-repeat, but others won't. 
So like I can't auto repeat offices or condos, but I can auto repeat parking spaces. Even though like you'll always want them to be on the same floor as each other. It's very weird. It it isn't weird that it wouldn't have that feature. It's weird that some things would and some things wouldn't. I should I should clarify when I say that. Uh okay. So how is our evaluation looking? Not too bad, actually. <laughs> Pricing, mostly average, sometimes very low. And we are having a bit of a housekeeping problem. But then again, it did just become morning. So let's give it a minute and see if there's any problems with that during the day. So there are a couple of rooms that aren't getting cleaned as efficiently. Okay, but they are they are making it through. All right, they're doing the rounds. All right. Oh. Oh what? Uh, why are all of the twin rooms dirty? Why isn't housekeeping doing anything about that? Excuse me. Excuse, excuse me? There's one person doing the entire thing. Okay, they're fine now. Huh. That is weird. I don't know why they were behaving that way. Um, but that's kind of always true, isn't it? I, I just kind of don't know why this game behaves how it does. So we want to expand our condos on this floor. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, that reminds me, um, Super Munchers is another one that we might be playing at some point in the future. Because um, that's a thing I have. Uh, it depends on whether we'll be able to get it onto this computer, this, uh, this VM properly. Because uh, sometimes that's been a little bit challenging. Um, but I do have another computer that runs Basilisk significantly better than this computer does. I just can't stream from it, so... Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, as far as getting all that sorted out. Hopefully there won't be too much fuss, though. Now, I'm not sure if these two bed hotel rooms are actually any better or worse than the single beds. I know that they give more income, but I don't know if they're more population dense than the other ones are. And that's kind of our, our main concern, is how much population density we can cram in. <clears throat> Oof, and every now and then it does that, where it just suddenly lags out catastrophically <laughs> and I find myself panicking because I don't want this game to crash uh, speaking of which let's just save real quick <laughs> income from restaurant oh good we have seven million six hundred and eight million five hundred and a bunch of money we have a bunch of money we have a whole bunch of money. All right, well, uh, have fun yourself. And thank you for joining in on tonight's Selfish Stream. Hope to see you again soon. Oh man, you can't drag these either? Ah. Okay, fine. We'll do it all by hand. <laughs> Even though it is terrifically slow, this process. There's 
just enough room. No, there isn't enough room. Um, hmm, is there a way to fit all these evenly? Oh, no, there isn't, is there? Crap. Well, whatever, this will just be an arbitrary bunch of... spacing all off on these, so it's just going to have to be a little weird, I guess. And this is also going to be a bit of an exper experiment to see how much um, uh, cleaning crew it takes to account for all of this. better use of space, so I'm going to bulldoze that while somebody's there. Alright, so we're going to watch the hotel cleaning process for a little while and see exactly how this pans out. Okay, so they seem to always clean from left to right. is getting cleaned thoroughly enough. Okay, so it looks like they're keeping up just fine. Which means we should be able to expand this out a little bit and continue the same pattern. Which is exactly what we want. It's precisely what I'd hoped. And the exact placement of these is going to be a little bit arbitrary because everything was arbitrary from the beginning, and that will be fine. It's not going to be perfect, but I don't honestly care enough about this particular tower to make it perfect. Otherwise I would have researched the strategy in advance. <laughs> Project High Rise is a very different beast. Um, there isn't a perfect optimal arrangement because it just demands so much from the player compared to this. Like there's just so, so many systems to keep track of. So many different things happening. be on the left side finished. Uh, now we also want restaurants up here. And we'll probably be removing most of those offices on the other side uh, to make room for a full floor of this. At the very least this one right here because that's annoyingly close. And then we will set escalators to allow people to use these buildings. Because sims prefer to go to places via escalator for some reason. It's uh, escalator, then stairs, then elevator, then service elevator is the order that they prefer. To me, or not service elevator, but uh, express elevator. To me, that doesn't make a ton of sense. Um, but apparently, that's how Sims do. subterranean traffic period so I don't think we have to worry too much about adding more elevator carriages underground 
Well, it might be worth doing like one or two on the major lines over here. What is that? Terrible sales, change the movie. Christmas for both of us. Let's watch Christmas for both of us. People hate love in New York, can't blame them. Northwest Romance is also not doing the best. Okay, so let's see if we can let's see if we can correct that. Did someone die? No, no, um, that was from one of the movie theaters. They just suddenly make noise every now and then. So if we position the, the frame, the view frame here, uh, when one of the movie, movie theaters starts up, we should hear it. Of course, we'll also hear a lot of other weird crap. Here we go. All three theaters just lit up. <laughs> Many sounds. Cha-ching. Yeah, sure. Um, all right. <laughs> so, uh, we've got this stuff built out on the left. Um, let's build up to the same floor on the right. That's probably a good goal for right now, is just getting everything up to floor 15 uh, on at full width. This way. Is it like one pixel over, and it will suddenly be uh, scrolling. Also, that's weird. <laughs> how the how the lobby entryway sort of slides around. Offices. Just the traffic problems down here aren't bad enough. second floor, but that's fine. <laughs> Oopsie. Condos here as well. From a placement efficiency standpoint, it's not honestly all that bad. one is just a little tiny bit off. <laughs> so I don't have enough OCD about this game already. <laughs> Fruitless OCD, I should say. There's not really any point to feeling that way. Alright, fill it up.
it seems like these are at a fixed offset compared. So the the two the two bed suites, or not suites, but the two bed rooms, are one and one half times the width of the single beds. Um, so if we check like over here, we can fill this in with one, two singles. And we can't do that here because there's only a one tile extra. It's a little bit weird that it fits together that way, but it does, like, it is functional, I suppose. Just unintuitive. Four tiles width each, or four wall sections width. So there is one thing that can kind of screw you over in this game a little bit. Uh, there are certain buildings that you can't move once you place them. Uh, among those is the cleaning and security offices. Uh, once those are down, that's it. They're they're there forever. Uh, <laughs> so. You know, that's, that's cool. <laughs> okay, so our stable population is up to 3,600 for nighttime. It's about daytime when people are working in the offices. That is a lot of money. Wow. Three thousand fifty-nine. Yeah, so it looks like most of the population is coming from the, uh, the hotel rooms by a pretty significant margin, which isn't shocking or anything. simultaneously flees for the hills. <laughs> mm. So placing commercial stuff immediately adjacent to lobbies is what you're apparently supposed to do. Um, since otherwise they won't get any patronage or nearly as much. Um, but in proximity to lobbies, it does a lot, a lot better. So we'll, we'll see if we can replicate that success. I literally have so much money that I do not know how I will spend it all. Twelve million dollars, and we're not on four stars yet, so it's it's literally just a matter of build more stuff. So that's going to be fun, trying to keep up with all that. This is why I was thinking Sim Tower was probably good for like one, maybe two streams. Because <laughs> while there is stuff to do, it gets very samey very fast because of this kind of thing. So I guess we'll see how well it holds up. does okay, then we'll, we'll play through until we've got a tower, but we may not want to do that since it's, it's pretty, sh pre pre pretty samey, pretty shallow. More sweets, more sweets. I mean, I kind of worry about the fact that, like, childhood me, and I was colossally dumb about some things as a kid, um, was able to basically master this through nothing but persistence. I don't think I ever really gained competence at it, but I, I definitely played it enough to just sort of outweigh any sort of real challenge to it. Which is why I'm a little concerned that this won't be 
the greatest thing ever for for long-term streaming even with the nostalgia factor unfortunately but we will at least give it the benefit of the doubt for now and uh, as long as people want to watch it I will keep playing so right now we're just filling out the rest of the hotel room floors that we've currently created um, we're going to renovate the floors immediately above and below the lobbies so that they're all commercial spaces. Um, but we won't do that until we've filled in it, pretty much everything else. And then we've got offices on the next two floors, it looks like. And one of those is slated for getting cleared out. So build this way. And then come back on the other, uh, on the on the next floor up. And then this elevator over here needs to be extended because right now it's just not really helping. drag across to make because you can do it with, with certain structures so why not with everything no, it's a strange it's a strange oversight that's my feeling about it it's just a little bit weird you know up here. I mean, they actually make no sense whatsoever, but we'll pretend. We will definitely pretend for a minute. Um, we need to get rid of these stairs because they are not what we're using for this. We will put another set of stairs in here. So that is correct for that area. But then, escalators. Escalators. Uh, because that's what people like. I guess. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna do shops up here, yeah. Click and drag this. Ah! <laughs> no, I'm not salty about this at all. <laughs> it's the kind of missing feature you really notice once you spot that it exists partially. And until then, it literally does not matter. don't care about being on the same floor as each other, so we'll fill out this space. Oh, one tile, are you kidding me? 
Come on. That ain't right. So we'll have storefronts akimbo. This is gonna move up to the top and get another car all the way up there on floor 20. on the brain because uh, we're planning to see Avengers this weekend. I am very stoked for that. Now what's happened up here? This is this is interesting. Why are these all still dirty? No one stayed in any of them. Their condition says that they're fine, but So very few customers. You think that might be because you were closed? <laughs> hmm. I wonder why these shops aren't happy. Hopefully that'll get people flowing up and down a little bit more smoothly. some sound happening. Okay. Okay, so housekeeping is currently a little bit overwhelmed, so we'll probably need to put another housekeeping thing in. Uh, and we'll do that up here on this top layer with the suites. Because I think that they are probably bringing us the least population. Let's see if we can cram anything else in here. Can't quite fit another set of suites, but we should be able to put a two bedroom in. Or a two, two bed. Thirty-four forty-seven population. It's, it's an improvement. Um, making a little bit of progress. Not a ton, but a little. That is a lot of people. Um, wow. still here, but uh, Isomorph was helping out, sort of wrangling this all this elevator crap. Um, that's where we want this doing express to bottom. That'll be local, that'll be local. We'll express to top first thing in the morning. We'll try it that way. Give it 30 seconds at each time segment each time of day. Let's find out how that works. Why is this a thing? I don't understand. I 
don't understand what the simulate button is for. I really don't. I also don't remember what any of these symbols mean. <laughs> so right now, it's when the office people start trying to leave. There should be plenty of capacity for them, right? That, that looks okay. There's like peak moments that are absolute disasters and then the whole rest of the time is fine. I don't know how to compensate for that properly. It is a mystery. Okay, yeah, the cleaning staff is definitely currently overwhelmed. So that sucks. Um, wow, that's really quite bad. Uh, all of these rooms that are too dirty to use. The roaches, yeah. Uh, I would sure like to collect rent from the roaches. That would be super neat. so nervous when this starts displaying symptoms of lag. Uh, wow, that's a lot of the two-bed suites that are, that are all screwed up. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of them that have this problem. For a second, because I need to bulldoze behind it. Let's get all these put back into place and see if we can't get housekeeping to keep up with the demand. Hopefully, with the two extra housekeeping, uh, housekeeping facilities, that will be enough. Not sure if it will, though. Guess we'll just have to see. Okay, so they're cleaning on this floor currently. And the floor with the suites... Why? Why? Um... Oh no, it's the two beds. Okay, let's see if they actually make it through here in a decent time. Knows I've made sure there are enough of them. Okay, yeah, there's like actually tons of them now. <laughs> it's a little later in the day than I would have expected for the number. Hmm. Uh, we're gonna change the behavior of this a little bit. We want this one to be up here and this one to be. Yeah, we want those to live there most of the time because that's where the that's where the second that those are the floors with the two um, cleaning facilities uh, are located, which in, sure, uh, in turn is where they should need more uh, TLC. income. But how do I get people to stay? Actually, we do want to 
drop that down a little bit because it needs to go underground some distance. Um, oh yeah, we forgot to turn this back on. Show. So we'll cap it out at 22 floors right now and then we'll rejig this later when we in inevitably will need to, uh, to extend it further. Looks like even with all the added help, these are still not getting cleaned. Hmm. Let's hope that doesn't continue to be an issue, because that would be very difficult to properly fix. We may want to just have like just straight up two housekeeping per floor. I really don't want to do that, or per per hotel floor. I don't really want to do that because that's that's a lot of wasted space. But on the other hand, if it keeps the rooms from being dirty, I'm not sure that I'm not entirely sure it isn't worth it. Um, another possibility might be to like fill up an entire floor with housekeeping and just uh, use the service elevators to get people around. so that it doesn't go to the uh, go to floor 20 if it doesn't already set that way. Oh, it's not even able to get up here, is it? All this clatter of building. Once we get this filled out, and we'll start looking at more ways of cramming in more people, because that is what we have to do in order to move on in the game. Basically just more, bigger, more of the same, room for more stuff. evenly fit. That's... no. Never mind. Oops. It's a little bit extra. Ah, uh, it does not evenly fit. I was wrong. Such a shame. Such a shame. Yay! I passed 5,000. Uh, 5, Woohoo! Alright, let's finish filling out these offices. That's what these floors are going to be regardless. Yay, four stars! Um, and then once we've finished filling in the offices for these two floors, then we will look to see what we got. Opening up a loot crate in, uh, in the modern parlance. Like, honestly, if they remade SimTower now, under EA's management, leveling up the tower would be a loot box. Cosmetic upgrades for your tower! A sense of pride and accomplishment in your creation. I mean, 
that's that's quality design. That's how you design a good game, don't you know? Okay. All right. So we have the same set of elevators, lobbies, floors, etc. Nothing new there. Nothing new there. Nothing new there. We can build the metro, and that's literally the only new thing that we can. Okay. All the way down to the bottom. It's three floors all to itself, which I think means we're going to have to move one of the recycling facilities, but I'm not sure. Ah, okay, so we... Oh, it only takes up that much space, and then there's the little track that goes along the bottom. I see. I understand how it works. This is basically going to be a new lobby floor, so we're going to have uh, an express elevator that stops on V8, or that lives on V8, I should say. So now we have the metro station underneath our tower, crowded with passengers, which I assume is a bad thing. No? Maybe. can't inspect anything except the actual station tile. Like, this doesn't exist, it's just filled. Which is a little weird, but that's okay. Um, so I'm thinking we need to check how high this can go. Oh, this goes all the way up. Whoops. Goes <laughs> All right, so this will go to 91 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 100 So this actually does go all the way to the very highest layer um, And for some reason the game allows you to view to center the camera on floor 102 even though you can't build up that high but that's fine, we'll pretend. Uh, so next milestone is five stars at 10,000 population. And now, pretty much the next thing to do is just gonna be to build a crap load of floors and fill them in with things that hold people. Flooring, more flooring, but only on the ones that I can actually see. Ah, why? <laughs> okay, getting there, getting there, getting there, getting there. Further, further, further out. Oh my good grief. <laughs> this part is not very interesting. Um, we may want to actually rejig the elevators now and kind of lay out where we want the new stuff to be. Um, I think that actually might be the best way to do this. Well, it's gotten to the point where the middle of the screen makes us scroll down instead of up. We inevitably misclick. So that's neat, I guess. So we're just gonna have like a massive empty tower um, with lobbies in it. And then we're gonna build from the bottom to the top uh, pretty much wherever it makes sense. We might do some like prettying up. Um, where we get all of the stuff that goes together together. It's like all the hotel rooms clustered together between the first two lobbies or something like that, and all the condos way up high. I don't know. Just just kind of spitballing. Okay, that is super annoying. Just gonna... Can 
cannot place item there. Maximum height has been reached. Alright, now we do it on the other side. This is this is a good <laughs> this is a good building profile. Oh, it looks so stupid. I love it. That is actually amazing. We come from party hall. It's time for a party. So I heard, anyway. Backwards L, yeah. With all this weird crap underground. this that's vacant right now. <laughs> I mean, that's not, that's not great. But we won't worry about it just yet. Cute. This is like that, um, that tower in Russia. This, like, humongous, it's supposed to be some kind of, like, monument to the success of their leadership. And it's actually just no, not not Russia. It's in uh, it's in Pyongyang, isn't it? Um, it's basically just a giant, completely pure concrete shell that towers over the skyline and has nothing in it, like like not even floors in a bunch of it. They built half of a giant tower and just sort of stopped because it was purely just a pissing contest with the West, and they. Like, they were like, yeah, we built the tower, good enough, we're done. Now, this does mean we won't really be able to see Santa flying by. Probably. But truthfully, I don't care that much. It's a nice little Easter egg, but we, we've seen it already. Maximum height has been reached. So, our tower is now unspeakably huge. Uh, let's get our express elevators positioned. So this can come down to basement 9. We'll put this one over about here. But yeah. Sorry, Santa. Floor 90. Now, lobbies. <laughs> oh, gosh. You can tell when this was made. When this wasn't seen as... When this, I guess, this indicates that at the time, this kind of decoration was not seen as being as smarmy as we understand it to be now. not going to uh, not going to make too much of a point about why we see this so smarmy these days because I don't want to get into that right now oh that's so weird every fourth tile build from the left, then it sort of, it sort of works until it runs into a spot where there's enough room for the other, the other decoration type. It's very weird. Yep, jackhammers. Oh! Okay! <laughs> that means Santa lives inside the tower today. I gotta admit, I was not expecting that. And 
Sky Lobby 15 is also sorted out now. Good. All right. I know another metro station. <laughs> That's the perfect thing to purchase. <laughs> no flaws whatsoever in this plan. All right. Now, normal elevators. We want all of the elevators to meet at increments of 15 floors. will actually fit within the tolerances set by the game. I'm not sure whether that will be the case or not. Um, so what should happen, what, what, what I expect to see here, is that on every 15th floor, people will take the express elevators to get there and then take the normal elevators from there to wherever else they need to be. And I don't know if it's actually going to work that way, but hopefully, at the very least, we will see. Oh, I missed a spot. they're supposed to have. I don't know if I got the spacing right. In fact, I definitely did not get the spacing right. Ack! Oh well, that'll be fine. It doesn't need to be precise. are intended to, uh, to function that way. shaft a little bit further over. Because the spot that it's on right now doesn't have quite enough room. And uh, we want it. Nope. 19 and 13 is where we want those to stop. And then we will delete that. Not enough money for construction. What do you mean, not enough money? I have millions of dollars to blow on this project. $200,000 per shaft, so I don't see an issue with this. <gasps> oh no! No more elevator shafts available. Okay. 
All right, so we may have to rethink this slightly. <laughs> so probably then what we want to do is have one in the middle, or one set of shafts in the middle, one set of shafts on the left, and one shaft, uh, set of shafts on the right. You can't do endless stairs. You can actually only have, I think, like 50 sets of stairs total. And then it just caps out and doesn't let you make any more. Uh, we won't worry about rejigging this too much until we actually get to a point where we need it. Um, restless Geneva. These are coming down to 415. All of them. And we're also going to reinstate service on this elevator to all floors. down to basement floor 9. Oops. Come up here and fix these as well. So that everything is properly working and the second elevator set starts getting used. Because right now I don't think it will, no matter what. There we go. Um, we'll need to change some of the like the default floor settings, but I think for right now it'll be okay. And we also need additional cars on floors 1 and uh, 15. Five cars. One will live on basement nine. One, uh, two will live on floor one, and two will live on floor fifteen. Uh, and this one, I think, is already set up that way. One, one, basement eight. Fifteen, fifteen. Okay, perfect. So that should alleviate some of the issues that we've had with these. Decently thorough fashion. Oh my gosh, I heard you already. This one's gonna show the classics. Western Sheriff. This one's gonna show the latest movies. This one's gonna show the classics. Not for money reasons, but because I don't I haven't had them do that yet. down all the way to the bottom, I believe. That looks good. All right. Evaluation. What's wrong up here? Very few customers. Why? Why are there so few customers? don't understand why that's the case. Uh, these are all conditions are terrible, but no explanation given, as usual. So we'll just lower them a price bracket and see what we can do. See what we can get out of them. It's obviously an elevator thing, but I don't understand what the problem with it is. I mean, that's just rotten. Why is it like this? Why? What problem do you have, and how do you suggest I solve it? Cause I'll do whatever you want, just fix the problem. Just 
have people living, moving, and working in here. And that was a lot of words that had not a lot of meaning between them. Uh, what happened here? Why is this... <laughs> That's weird. Uh, let's get somebody moved in here. Let's get somebody moved in here. What's wrong with this? Why? Why? It's just the one room. <laughs> I don't get why it's like this. It just doesn't say. Conditions are terrible, but if you won't tell me what conditions are terrible, how will I know what to change? Elevator is very far away. Yeah, that's true. You have a point. But we'll still lower the price anyway, even though we're planning to fix that eventually. can't change those at all. Uh, all right. Stereoscopic mumbling. It's just the best. Now on the topic of endless stairs. <laughs> Pathbinding in this game is super weird, honestly. Alright, so for these upper elevators, we need a couple there, a couple there, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, I guess I could have just counted, that would have been simpler. 4, 5, 6, 7, yes, yeah, so this is actually the half mark. So one sitting between the top and the bottom. setting in place more of these. So we'll have five in each uh, shaft. Two at the top, two at the bottom, and one in the middle. To me that seems like probably the best compromise we're gonna get for, uh, for performance. Right. 
hopefully this system will be robust enough that it'll just work um, when, we, uh, when we actually expand into these areas. Oh, hey, we're regularly getting more than 5,000. That's good. good. <laughs> now have I accidentally placed an extra one here? Yes, I have. So I'm just going to go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 82. That'll be fine. Some of this is probably going to need to be redone. That's all right. Oh yeah, that one doesn't have a top layer, does it? cake of destiny we're building up here. Here at elevated heights. Ah, why? I wonder what it thought I clicked on just then. Okay, evaluations are generally good. Pricing is generally okay. These rooms are still consistently getting left dirty, which is a problem. Which means more housekeeping. That should fix that. I do still, um, nice design on my, my mini-map. What design is that? Just, like, the position of the elevators? Is that the only part of it that's really geometric at all? Hmm. Yeah. So the, the plan, because of the limitations, I want four columns of them, but I can only have three columns. So eventually this one's going to get removed um, and put up here, but I think I might actually take this entire column and just stick it over here instead. Uh, but we won't do that until we actually need to, because we don't want to go through all of that fuss of moving this around until these upper areas are being used at all, really. Additionally, I'm going to go with two more express... Oh, no more cars in the shaft. Okay. Only one, then. Uh, nope. Alright, so that one's done as well. So we'll need to change the way that these are set up. So for right now, we're just gonna have all of the extra ones come down to floor one and just live down here, I guess. Except one. We'll have one go to 15. So we'll have three on 15, four on one, and one on minus eight. And then we'll have to stretch that out a little bit later. Two. Okay, so that's how those will function for the time being. We'll probably need to change it later, but right now that'll be fine. Oh, this is a nice little background texture here in the lobby. Why are you showing me this? <laughs> this this little bit here. I do like the lobby um, the lobby sprites. Those are really lovely. That noise 
this is a little bit silly. Honk honk. So yeah, loads of traffic in the express elevator, which is exactly what we want. We want most of the traffic to be coming through those two shafts. I doubt if that's the case currently, but when we expand upwards, it will have to become the case because that's how Sims prefer to travel. Because they don't understand the concept of going to multiple floors uh, or to multiple modes of transportation. Because they're weird like that. there's a limit on the number of elevator cars that you can have, not just on, like, on the shafts. Because each one has a limit of eight, but can you put in that many? Like, can you have eight on every single one of, what even is it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 21, 22, 23? Doesn't seem right. Oh, 24, because there's the one service elevator. Ugh, okay. Oh, okay, that actually might be a serious problem later on, um, because right now we have one service elevator shaft, but eventually if we need more than one at any point, um, and for any reason, then we'll just simply be screwed. Like, the, there just isn't... There isn't a way of having this elevator pattern and also having the service elevators because they count against the overall elevator shaft limit. So that's going to be maybe a huge problem. We don't know yet. Hopefully it won't matter, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see as that gets closer. Seven million. Okay, so one thing that we're going to do now, um, before we expand too far down here, is just make a buttload of parking. Just just way too much parking. Um, and hopefully that will allow us to be basically ahead of the scaling requirements. as far over as it gets, yes. So we happened to guess originally just one tile off of the furthest that can go, the most efficient pattern. Not bad for a random guess, I'd say. I do wish the scrolling behavior were a little bit better. I also wish you could do this with every type of building. That would be neat. <gasps> no, those are wrong. Uh, parking. Yeah, so just, just absolutely too much parking. Um, and the reason that we're doing that is that that way we can build as many offices and retail spaces as we want. Um, and they shouldn't, fingers crossed on that, shouldn't uh, have any issues with, uh, with parking being, being adequate. Um, we will also increase our garbage collection down here, our recycling facilities, to account for eventual need. have, I don't know, eight of them? Seems acceptable. I guess we'll leave the rest of this area open for now, just in case we need to pack in some more of that. Oh, I did 
did just realize something that might be an issue. Um, if there's a terrorist threat, there's a lot of the building that isn't going to be covered by security. Ooh, that might be a problem. I guess it's time to place some security offices. And then we'll go back through and do, um... I'm just kind of placing these at arbitrary heights. I don't really know where they need to be. Um, we'll go back through and do uh, hospital facilities as well. Item no longer of it, no longer available. What does that mean? Christmas for both of us. <laughs> Terrible sales! Change the movie! Dino Wars! Oh yeah, there we go. That sounds like a fantastic film. Dino Wars! <laughs> sure. Why the heck not? of samey stuff is maybe a good plan. So for example, if I come up here to what floor even is this? Floor 30. And then just fill in the space that we've got remaining right now with just crud tons of Condos. And that should help us to quickly pump up the number of Sims living in the tower at the moment. Um, we may or may not want to come back through with um, the stairs tool. I'm not sure how many of those we're actually allowed to have. Um, I'm sure it's not enough to actually cover the full vertical distance of the tower. So we'll have some floors that are just not accessible. But we'll have to actually test it and find out whether that's the case. I don't know, and I'm not going to know until we hit the limit, probably. Lots of thunking noises. Don't mind me. And keeping all of this relatively contained, I think, is probably going to be our best bet for, um maximizing the usage of our elevators. Lots of clattering, as you do. And of course there isn't a way of clicking and dragging these either, as you can see. to do it this way. 
the horizontal positioning is what takes time. Vertical repositioning is quick. Um, now there is, if I'm not mistaken, an actual limit to how many uh, condos you can place and how many offices. Um, but I think it's 512 of each, so we're probably good for a while. Ah! No! Uh, okay. So that should have our... Um, population go up a little bit. Not a ton, I guess, but some. Now we are going to do the same thing with a much, much larger block of offices. By which I mean absolutely huge. We're going to do 13 floors of offices. All at once. Probably not going to get filled in very quickly compared to how we are building them. It's just a lot of, a lot of clattering, a lot of loud noise going on. I feel like I should like write a macro for this. can't actually have an office building proper in this game simply because of the number, the, the numerical limits on, um, like on how many uh, of each structure you can have. So you will at some point actually just run out of offices to place, and that is well before the completion of the tower. <laughs> It would remove the fun, but right now there's not a whole ton of fun ha uh, to be had doing this. All the fun of hand cramps. <laughs> All of that for just one screen full of these things. Six thousand. Six thousand forty eight. And even with all of this new office traffic, it's still like way, way faster growing in the evenings. Seven thousand. Just shy of 7,000. So we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. We can probably manage five stars by the end of the night. I'm not sure about cathedral, like tower level, but we can probably manage five stars by the end of the night. <laughs> Sim tower, how long to beat? About six hours, give or take. Five hours, maybe. For a completionist playthrough. While writing a macro may remove all the fun from clicking on all of these, it would also remove some of the uh, hand cramp that I'm starting to feel now. And it would also remove having to correct all my mistakes. <laughs> Not sure whether that's a plus or a minus, pro or con. And also I can't guarantee that the macro would run properly uh, with Basilisk if it was just uh, like mouse inputs. Oh boy. 
It's 13 floors times how many to a floor? <laughs> oh my gosh. There are so many offices. We're gonna have a massive move in as soon as morning hits. Or as soon as a weekday morning hits, I should say. Offices. <laughs> That's all I ask. Just let me stop doing this for a minute. <laughs> also, because the uh, the win condition or the the advancement condition, the five star requirement is that you have. So to to get five stars, you need the four you need four stars, the metro station, and ten thousand inhabitants, ten thousand population. Uh, to get the to go from five star to cathedral or to a to, to tower, which is not actually a formal ranking, um, like there's no graphical change on the rank meter. Um, you need to have five stars and fifteen thousand population. And as soon as you hit that, you get the ability to build the cathedral. Once you have built the cathedral, nothing happens at all. The game is over, but, like, there's no actual, like, game end condition. It just, like, y there's nothing left to do at that point. So you could, in theory, continue playing on the same tower forever, but it wouldn't actually do anything new. Um, you would just still, you just have exactly what you ended the game with, or, or exactly what you had when you built the cathedral. Which, as end game conditions go, is kind of a letdown, I'll be honest. But, you know, okay, sure. I think they thought that people would get a lot more time out of this game. Like, it would, that it would take more hours to reach the end game than it actually does. I don't know. And this is, of course, completely speculation. I have no idea what they were thinking when they made some of these decisions. Kapow, kapow. there at the end of the screen sixty two hundred so each of these take six people in each office yeah I, I know I know <laughs> shut up I know <laughs> So I did make one sort of tactical error uh, early on, and that's I put the hotel rooms sort of close together, but not um, not all in adjacent floors. And the reason that that's a problem is that hotel rooms uh, can be moved and and replaced and whatever, placed and replaced, um, but you can never, at least according to the manual, or the readme, you can never remove uh, certain structures, including um, housekeeping. So those structures are just permanently anywhere that I happen to put them. So for example, let's come down here, 
yeah, it cannot destroy this item. Which means that in order to deal with the fact that the house cleaners are here, um, we'll probably need to make this section here strictly hotels. Like, this is all going to be hotels. Um, and it has to be entirely hotels because uh, this service elevator is the only free elevator slot that I have that could possibly go here. Um, everything else needs to be somewhere else in order for this whole contraption to function the way that I intend it to. And these are surprisingly not overwhelmed at the moment. These, um, these upper floors... Well, never mind. Looks like that's not correct anymore. <laughs> oh, crap. It does look like the middle floor is going to get shafted a little bit. Evaluations. Terrible. It's all bad. Everything is terrible. These are horrible. They're all just not working at all. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I had to ask. Okay, so that's going to be a problem with the elevators. So what we'll do is have two of these come up to floor 30, and then we'll do the same thing here. Uh, two of these will come up to floor 30. And that will help to alleviate traffic coming to floor 30, basically. Uh, we'll probably want to do something similar for floor 45 later, but we need to make sure that all of this gets, uh, gets handled first. Uh, now, as far as these elevators, these middle ones, are concerned, uh, these need some kind of TLC to make sure that they're actually um, doing what they need to do. Express to top, and express to bottom. With 30 seconds delay at all times. And the interface for this is just catastrophically bad. We'll see if that alleviates those strains when the, uh, when the weekday rolls around. It's very weird that some of them are like, everything is great all the time, and it's perfect, and everything's fine. And some of them are like, just terrible, terrible, terrible. Even though there's no difference in price and no difference in elevator service. Like, I don't get why that is. So I don't know how long the evaluation takes. I think it's like, probably just a week. Because it checks it over every day of the week and sees... I mean, that's my assumption, at least. I don't know if that's true. So let's see if any of these fill in. Because that'll, that'll basically tell us whether my settings are correct. That's, that's wrong. That's definitely not how it's supposed to be. Um, let's try this the other way around. I don't think that's right either, but let's at least see what it actually does. Pretty much purely a drop off service on the way up in the mornings. Midday should roll around any moment, and suddenly people want to go somewhere else. And now they can because it goes down again.
is actually right, though? Yeah, that doesn't seem right either. I really don't get how that works, like, at all. We're just gonna set them all to low level, but make sure that they all have a delay. And we are also going to put some more cars into the elevator shafts. They're gonna be positioned a little weird. And that's fine. So that's gonna that's gonna be all full uh, completely now, and then we'll do the same things for these lower floors. Uh, they are gonna get a similar set of extra elevator cars, middles. We'll see how that. they have a third stopping point, basically. So, 1-1, one, one, minus 8, minus 8, 15-15, and then 7-7. Seven, seven. There's no last one. So this gets one more on floor 7. And then we'll set the other four to match that, I think. in the shaft. Alright. So I will set their home floors. 1-1. One, one. Minus 8, minus 8. Seven, seven. Eight is because that's where the metro station is, so we have a lot of incoming traffic from down there. So hopefully this will get everything wrangled in an appropriate fashion. One one minus eight minus eight. Fifteen fifteen. Seven seven. All right. That does not appear to have helped at all. But I can't tell whether that's because it hasn't changed the evaluations or if This is maxed out now. Wow. Um, how do I get it to reevaluate? Hmm. How do I get it to reevaluate these without manually checking every single one? busy work.
let's watch that one because what I did was I set it back up to the highest price point uh, before it sold. It was reevaluated. Lower it. Okay, it's going into the weekend, so we're not going to get any more information about it right now. But yeah, so it looks like the way that I've changed the elevators has actually helped quite a bit. It's just these need to be reevaluated. <laughs> Holy crap, that's going to take a long time to fix. Because, like, we can make buttloads of money on it, not that we really need to. Hmm. So these are back down to mediocre, even at the highest, or at the at the highest price point. This one is still fine, because it's on the home floor of one of the... Okay, so these are, these are all dirty, but let's see what happens. I'm thinking like two housekeeping per hotel floor, and then just wipe out the housekeeping elevator altogether. I'm not sure if that's the best way to do it. Shame you can't have one of these overlays open and have the game running at the same time. Okay, let's see what happens to our population over the weekend. My guess is that the last, the third weekday evening when people come into the hotels and as people are leaving the offices is when we're going to be at our peak, um, our peak population. Because that's when the hotels are all full, which is where, like, we get a lot of incoming population that way. Uh, and it's also where the offices haven't emptied out yet and we have a fair amount of population that way as well. These are still misevaluated. That really sucks. Uh, so let's resume the simulation. And we'll recheck these now. Yeah, and it's it's maxed out. So it's it's just not even evaluating these. It's not checking to see whether they're in, uh, any good until you lower the price low enough that where it last sat, they'd be acceptable. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a pain. <coughs> Conditions are terrible, but, like, are they really, though? Are they really, actually? I think maybe conditions are just fine and you haven't looked yet. You, haven't, you literally haven't even glanced in. Oh, that's. This is gonna suck to change manually. I really don't wanna do this. And then we max it out and it's still fine. It's still perfectly acceptable at the highest possible price. It's really annoying. <laughs> we have to do that for all however many of these. Let's count them up, shall we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, times, oh my 
my gosh, times 13. 41 times 13. 533 offices in this block alone, uh, less a couple for those, those security offices. Oh my gosh. Manually changing that many of these, I am going to actually lose my mind. Is there any way of correcting it? I wonder if we save and unload, if it'll recheck them in real time that way, or, or like during the load process. So we've just saved and loaded. No, no change at all. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, that is very bad. Oh, that does not make me happy. Oh no. It's genuinely faster to bulldoze them. And rebuild them than it is to change these prices by hand. Oh my gosh, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, I'm genuinely kind of concerned that I'm going to break my mouse doing this. Oh boy. And these, this should reset their evaluation to nothing. To neutral. Or like the, the unevaluated state state that it was in before. And they're all completely fine. They're all perfect. Uh, oh no. <laughs> I wonder if like every other position is the fastest way? I mean, that's the slowest way for sure. But if I do this, then every other row, I don't need to manually check. And it's impossible to miss. And that reduces the amount of clickety-click. Maybe. Legit terrible gameplay. Both in the sense that this is probably not fun to watch, it is also unskilled, and I am not enjoying it. This is like the perfect trifecta of bad stream. <laughs> the kill command on your PC, why? What does that look like? Is it just like a bulldozer icon, or sort of generically, the, the platonic ideal of a bulldozer? Oh, oh, like the actual cursor, I see what you mean.
I mean, that's not a bad way of summing this experience up. Kill! efficient to do uh, adjacent columns. Yeah. That is uh, sort of the Microsoft way, isn't it? We can pretend that that makes sense in this context. Sure. Clicky. I'm kind of tempted to just leave some of these in the wrong positions, but I'm not going to because that would just be terrible to future me. Future me would be very angry at present me if I did that, so I won't do that. Getting there, getting there, getting there, getting there. We're about halfway across. A little bit more, I think. Okay, are there any new massive problems? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why? It's not working. It's kind of working. It's working massively in some areas, but it's not working at all in others. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? I know why it isn't working on the right. That's because there's no elevator over there, but what the heck? Why the heck? The elevator is far away. I get that, but... Like, what's, what's the problem here? Conditions are terrible. What conditions? What conditions? What are the conditions that are bad? What don't you like? <laughs> what do you need me to do so that you will never ever complain like this again? What if we do this? What if we what if we have elevators that are spread out a little further. Is that better? Do you, are you not entertained? <laughs> what the heck does this game want from me? Uh, that should be... that should match. Oh! It is filled with hatred. Oh, I don't like it. Maybe this was a bad idea, because what this does, now that I'm thinking about it, what setting it up this way does is it puts extreme strain on these elevators during certain times of day and no strain whatsoever during other times of day. So maybe this idea was not as good as I thought it was. logical sense to me, it seems like it is not as functional as I maybe hoped that it would be. It's like, this is all fine. These hardly use the elevators at all. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not filling for that. So what we're gonna do to correct this error in judgment is we're going to make the bottom half of this into condos. Hello and goodbye, Santa. Alright, so that's 
six floors of offices. One, two, three, four, five, six floors of condo. Oh, there's only 12. There's only 12 floors. We'll do this replacement process one screen at a time. And hopefully that will make the elevators play nicer with the offices. Oh my gosh. It's a pretty catastrophic screw up, honestly. It didn't cost me that much money. Certainly no permanent cost has been uh, incurred here. tic-tac-toe or something. <laughs> this is just all wrong. I wonder which of these is better for population. Probably the offices are better for population numbers. But, I mean, if nobody's in them, it hardly does any good, does it? Mostly we're just trying to increase our permanent and semi-permanent occupancy. Um, so that we don't have as much variation when, uh, when the hotels empty out and when the offices empty out. Oh my gosh. That business with the offices all the way up and down this, that was probably a bad idea. And of course, we're just always going to have problems with this right hand side until and unless I fix the elevator placement, which I'm reluctant to do because that's going to be a lot of fiddly, busy work. Now, the stream was supposed to end 10 minutes ago, uh, but I want my fifth star, and I'm kind of guessing we're probably not going to make it tonight, but. I feel like I should have, and therefore I must. That's not even remotely true, but I'm salty enough to, to make it feel like that. Condos, condos for rent. Reasonably priced, I guess. Okay, last screen full. I wonder if I can replace these. Nope, those are permanently fixed. little thumping noise to drive us crazy. Uh, is that condos are the lowest density 
the lowest population density structure um, everything else is higher offices are higher they have six for a smaller space uh, as compared to the up to four for each condo which is wide uh, wider than an office by a little bit more than half um, the hotel rooms are way higher density um, because it's I think it's like up to two people for four horizontal slices so like the width of an elevator shaft um, so yeah basically <laughs> What we expect to see here is that the elevators are going to barely do anything because there are less people, fewer places to go, because they just live here. Alright, on to the next block. Well, no, let's not do the next block just yet. Let's come back down here and get this all wrangled a little bit better. So these offices are all going to be replaced with hotels. Same deal with, well, let's not do that to the condos just yet. The condos below. Well, no, let's, let's, because those aren't particularly valuable and there's no reason that that floor needs to be that. But we'll clear these first. Of people in the middle of the night while they sleep. So, you know, very, very cool. Very, uh, very 80s movie villain of me. Whoops, that wasn't supposed to get blown up. Alright. Now, hotel rooms akimbo. We need two housekeeping per floor we're going to go with. Uh, oh, 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 I didn't like that. Alright, we're just going to save because that's what we do when games appear to be unstable. <laughs> Yikes. to just click and drag all the way across with this with this tool right about now because yeah it does not work like that They're so small. Uh, I'll have to check the population density on uh, on the twins versus the singles versus the Swedes. Because I'm actually not sure kind of what the what the actual practical difference is there. done with this floor. 
Almost, almost. Almost, almost. Okay. That floor is done. Holy crap. What a pain. We'll do a floor of two beds. Although, let's check the, the occupancy real quick. Well, okay, so it looks like we can't check the occupancy until such time as they are occupied. So we'll keep doing this. One. None. One. Hmm. Two. One. It's hard to tell, honestly. So these hold two. They're really big. And you charge significantly more for them. And VIPs can stay there. These ones seem to also only hold two, or at least only two people are appearing in them at any given time. These ones hold one each. So I think two beds are more space efficient because they're only one and a half single beds long. And suites are just really bad. Um, Doubles are probably our best bet. So as you can see, there's uh, these are six tiles wide, the singles are four tiles wide. So it's eight tiles for two people versus six tiles for two people. So it's double beds all the way. Of course, that doesn't guarantee occupancy. If they're unoccupied, then they are less space efficient than singles. noise. Actually, that shouldn't be there. We need to do it from the right. Uh, evaluate me better. Not perfect, but better. And that problem will go away once the elevator's in proximity. Uh, these need new movies. Terrible shales. 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 Terrible shales. Casual friends. The making of a star. I mean, I have $33 million, just about. I have literally got so much money that I do not know how to spend it fast enough. Um, so I'm not too worried about the movie theaters not doing super well, except insofar as they cram more people into my tower. Um, when, so, uh, wow, I'm, 
I am running out of brain juice right now. Brain fuel. Um, when a condo is fully occupied, I think it's four people. And they are 12 tiles long. Which is, what, three tiles per person? That's all right. four single bed hotel rooms, which we've already established that the two bed hotel rooms are better than for, for population density. Hmm. Weird, weird, weird. It confuses my brain. Not but it should, just I'm kind of derpy. Um, offices are more dense. Uh, yeah, they're actually much more dense than even the double bed hotel rooms, but only during some hours of the day. Hmm. Very peculiar. I'm not sure how to calculate that. Or if I even ought to try. Alright, so we got plenty of housekeeping, which is good. Alright, I think now that we've finished up those floors, I think we'll be done for the night. Alright. I need to be done, uh, because my brain stopped working some time ago, but in the meantime, good night everybody.